Welcome to Malaysia, the exotically beautiful country located in Southeast Asia. The highly anticipated prestigious Malaysia Mountain Trail Festival returned better than ever in December 2021 for its fourth edition after the 2020 event was held virtually due to the COVID pandemic. The center of all the action for this three-day ultra-trail running event was, as always, Taiping in the state of Brag. The town, with its pristine, naturally wild and unique beauty, provides the perfect setting for such an event as it leads the ambitious participants through magnificent forests, jungles and well-designed, challenging routes. The state of Brag is located in the northwest peninsula of Malaysia, with Taiping What's more, it's also one of the three most sustainable cities in the world, making it a must-visit destination. So the return of the Malaysian Mountain Trail Festival made not just local runners eager to visit Taiping, but also a large contingent of overseas athletes were excited about coming to the city to compete in the heart of the town at Esplanade Taiping by the iconic Lake Garden. Malaysia Mountain Trail Festival 2021, the first ultra trail race to be organised after the pandemic, was co-organised by Forestry Department of Parag and the MMTF Consultants. Malaysia Mountain Trail Festival, MMTF, was first organised in 2018 and this is the fourth year the Parag State Forestry Department is organising in conversion with the MMTF Consultant. The participants of this event are not only taking part in sporting events but they also get to enjoy the scenery and atmosphere of natural forest in Perak as it showcases the diversity of our flora. The support from all of the involved parties was of significant importance for the organisers as the event's executives only had a month and a half to make everything set and ready to be approved by the authorities. The fact that they made it happen was unknown demonstrating Normally I would have uh, like nine months, I mean the team would have nine months to uh, pull off uh, the event. Uh, this year we have got to squeeze everything within 1.5 months, one and a half months and that is inclusive of getting the respective uh, approvals as well. internationally recognised race is set up by the International Trailway Association is one of the qualifying races of the UTMB. Moreover, it is the first and only international Skyrunner Federation certified course label in Malaysia and just the second in the Southeast Asian region. So, uh, burning lots of midnight oil, uh, sleeping at 3, 4, 5 uh, in the morning, um, to execute things uh, that is normally executed on a table and on, on the daytime um, traveling to KL uh, to meet uh, officers in charge uh, and also uh, preparing documents. Considered one of the toughest events in the world, the Malaysian Mountain Trail Festival is made up of four different distance challenges. The 84km race is the pinnacle event, pushing participants to their limits, while there are also 50km, 25km and 16km races, which are more accessible for amateur runners who want to test themselves and see what they're capable of. This event is actually for everyone. It's not only for the elite uh, runner, it's for the running community. Um, we love to introduce uh, our trails, uh, the Malaysian trails as we call it, uh, or the Malaysian running, uh, trail running scene uh, to the world at large. 
and I believe everyone actually play a part in it. Uh, not just myself or my team, uh, but then it's a collective effort by all the runners. The support that we get uh, at the end of the day is, I mean, priceless. It's driven by the passion of, uh, for trail running. Uh, that's the first thing. Um, secondly, it's because uh, we would like to use this race uh, to introduce uh, the trails here in Taiping to the world and also to make uh, Taiping a hiking destination and also a trail running destination. You need to challenge yourself. When you go to the trail, you prepare to fall down. It is common, but the satisfaction when you can hit the target and you conquer the trail. I like challenges. I like uh, adventures, so this is a good course and uh, most important is one thing, the safety, the, the direction, the marking, I can say thumbs up. So you, you don't have to worry about your loss, that's why I want to rate this race is almost 10, perfect. The race is oversubscribed. Nine runners from 28 different countries registered for the 2021 edition, showing that the MMTF was indeed one of the most awaited sporting events. The event followed public health protocols and all the participants were subjected to strict testing procedures so that everyone could enjoy a safe race. It was clear that all the athletes were eager to hit the race courses, no matter the weather conditions. It's very nice to be here in Taiping Perak uh, to be running in this uh, MMTF race, which is historically a very well organized race. Uh, after such a long time of uh, being indoors uh, due to the pandemic, it's nice to finally see everyone again, uh, albeit with the new SOPs in place, but it looks like it's going to be a very well organized event again for this year. So I'm looking forward to it. I meet my friend, was two years already. Some changing already, some become fat already, <laughs> some become very fit because during the MCO, some really push himself to prepare for this race. Because I believe this is the first physical race of the year, 2021. I, I think everyone is also excited, not only me. This year, the runners would face an elevation game of up to 4,610 meters, but this number doesn't tell you the whole story. It's steep at times, it's narrow, it's wet, it's pure rainforest and the secret of success is that the organisers tested all of the groups in order to make them the best ones for the competitors and conquer the jungle in its wildest conditions. When, the, when I dreamt of doing this race in 2015, it took us three years to prepare the trails. And uh, in 2017, uh, we actually ran the course uh, at 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11 p.m., just to simulate and to understand what is it like uh, inside. So we could understand how the runner feels in a certain time of the day. Finally, the time had come for all the exciting action to start. The enthusiasm was obvious on the faces of each and every athlete who couldn't wait to compete. Both young and old, they all shared the exact same level of anticipation. I've been running for more than 10 years. I'm about 60 years old, I've done full marathon, uh, but hiking, I just have about two years experience, but hiking is a lot, a lot more fun because every terrain is different, you smell the nature, you, every time you go to the, the same place, but you take a picture, it's different feel. When you hike, it's a different feel. Every journey is the same journey, also you feel different. So good. Organising committee acted fast to secure the safety of everyone. 
The event team took the decision to reroute the Freshman Challenge eight hours before the flag off, owing to the fact that the trails between Burmese Pool to SBS were deemed unpassable by the race director. The Freshman Run, the 16-kilometre race, is considered suitable for beginners. It had to be rerouted at the 11th hour for the safety of all the runners, owing to the fact that the original route was damaged by the prolonged rain during the race weekend. However, the level of performances showed just what the MMTF can offer spectators and participants. The first man to finish the race was Mohad Fadel, who was victorious after crossing the line in the time of 1 hour 12 minutes and 5 seconds. In the women's category, it was Tegan Paul who claimed victory, and her story is unique. A new mother, she admitted that there was probably no better preparation than having to run constantly after her baby. Practice is useful in any form, even if it's a fun affair. It's my first time racing ever. It was awesome. It's so well organised. The trail was really interesting. For me, the river crossing was the most fun. I didn't really train. I just run after my baby all day and that keeps me fit. a new course for the 2021 edition and this raised the bar of difficulty higher. It was Amir Zaki bin Amran who finished first among the men after 4 hours 9 minutes and 39 seconds, while in the women's category, Lim Sayo Ai was by far the best, finishing almost 15 minutes in front of her nearest rival. Of course I felt that it's like oh, finally a relief. Then I'm very happy because I managed to uh, complete the race before my expected timing because I was expecting like 5 hours plus minus so I completed in 4 hours 20, 20 over minutes so I feel like okay at least my training really helps a lot and it, it brings me a lot of like results I would say yeah The adventure was endless at the 2021 Malaysia Mountain Trail Festival as all its participants had the chance to observe some hidden gems of Taiping. The rainy weather conditions made the landscapes even more epic and the experiences even more thrilling. What makes MMTF more than any other race is the level of camaraderie and fair play created during the race by the athletes. It's not only the other participants who are cheering, but also the locals show their utmost respect for the athletes. Such support is required when you feel that you can't make it any further. I must say, I wasn't prepared at all for the, the muddy uh, part, you know. And when you start, you start a bit slippery. At one point, at one point I thought it's, if it's going to be like that for the whole, uh, whole race, it's going to be difficult. But then you appreciate people are just, you know, around us, cheering, uh, encouraging. So at one point, of course, I knew that there was this big steep uphill uh, before the going down to the final step. So uh, this one, I was a bit wondering how uh, I would be uh, in which health, but it was okay at the end. race, which has been certified by the International Skyrunning Federation, is incredibly demanding and technical, really testing the athletes, particularly in challenging weather conditions. The level of performances, however, were high, and in the end, it was Frenchman Pierre Victor Morales who prevailed in the men's category, and the Sunni brothers also came in fact. On the women's side, Hallie Matton Sadaya managed to grand victory.
It was, it was quite tough. Huh? The, the run was very well organized, people very welcoming. But uh, reaching the, the final step and being the second veteran was really, really nice. All the different sceneries, different landscape. You start in the Lake Garden, then you go up hills and jungles, and you go down, you've got some nice views, even see the sea, uh, the atmosphere. Pukul 9 malam jugalah Dan saya dapat blessing nombor 10 Daripada tu lah So saya dapat top 10 <laughs> Saya memang happy lah Sebab ni first event saya Lepas masuk tadi saya terus Mata nak nangis <laughs> ha, Macam tu lah A serious test of physical and mental strength. The winners of the race would also be crowned Malaysia Trailmaster Champions, a prestigious oh, title. Oh. The discipline is also the most indicative regarding the event's promo, which is lose your mind, discover your soul. In order to compete such a tough race in such challenging weather conditions, you truly need to discover your soul through an inner fire burning inside. Say that you have more on willpower, more on willpower. The last few 10 kilometers plus is the willpower. You have to keep on moving, keep on moving. Even though you have not enough time, like the 50 kms now, they are going down already. They are very tired. Maybe they can't reach at the time the COT. But if you complete it, uh, at least you find your soul. You know what you're doing here. Today, after, after the 34 km uh, CP5, um, I'm thinking of uh, am I going up the big hill and it's going to be twice of this big hill. But um, just like um, I promised myself, um, discover the soul. So, yeah, and um, like I have to do it. Men's category included some great names of the trail running scene, and everyone was eager to see the battle between the 2018 winner David Simpad and Wilson Singen, another main favourite. They managed to turn the race into a fascinating duel from the start. Finally, Wilson though dropped David on the first descent of Maxwell Hill, and after that he never looked back, finishing in 10 hours, 59 minutes and 46 seconds. An impressive performance. The extremely skilled Japanese runner, Hisashi Kitamura, also participated, finishing in fourth. In the women's race, Azar Azara ran solo in the lead for nearly the entire race, taking the tape after 14 hours at 10 minutes and 40 seconds. Adelina Lingtang tried to catch Azara, but she had to settle for second ahead of the improving Celeste Tio. For Azar Azara, this was her second MMTF victory of the winning 2018. Uh, badan sejuk, so I uh, pacing macam not, uh, 
not uh, rushing lah. Mm -hmm. So after the the project, macam uh, body okay sikit, I I uh, for second half I go I go. Ages showing that passion never fades and helps mask the pain that can climb you up and down the wet jungle trails. Saya sudah 50 50 tahun, okay, nak beritahu kawan-kawan itu kalau you nak senaman, nak buat trail. Kita tak kira apa-apa uh, umur. The event was once again remarkably successful with 126 athletes finishing out of the 1,299 who eventually made the starting line. Based on the test of each of the competitors, all the runners should be congratulated and rewarded for challenging themselves in such a way. For example, I'm talking about 100 km. You don't go just straight away sign and go in. You need to start from stage by stage. For example, I start my trail running since 2015. Imagine a six year in the trail. For the first two years, I focus on short trail. Means I do mainly 16, 10, 20 km, that's all. Then the next another year, then I upgrade to intermediate race and after I accumulate all the experience, then only I move to the longer distance. We call ultra distance. That's, that's why I advise uh, all the trail runners, all the new beginner, stage by stage. Don't straight away go to ultra, but start by slowly, slowly move to the next stage. First thing, why? Prevent injury. Because one time you injury, you need to call off from the training for a long, long time. So this is very, very important. MMTF will welcome two new features that are destined to take the competition and adventure to another level. A 100km race will be offered for the first time and many of the athletes are already looking forward to it. Discover your soul. Good enough. The other significant new feature will be the vertical kilometre, a 
race with 1,000 metres of climbing over variable terrain with a substantial incline not exceeding 500 metres in length. The only way is up for the MMTF and the biggest aspiration for all of those involved is to make Taiping a beloved trail destination. The innovations will never stop as the race executives have the next step on their minds. This race is all about uh, the community around it. Uh, we hope to do more, uh, maybe in other states. For now, uh, this race will stay in Taiping as uh, we are moving towards the next phase. And that is to create a hiking trail out of the race track. Um, just like those trails in Europe, then make Taiping a trail running destination. Kill the best. with an inspiring quote by Henry Ford. Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is success. With Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, I officially close the fourth edition Malaysia Mountain Trail Festival MMTF 2021. Once again, thank you. Terima kasih for your presence and attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Asian Mountain Trail Festival returned in 2021 and was a blast. It brought back what it promised, pure adventure, testing of sporting limits, great performances, sweat and tears of joy. The 2022 edition is already under progression with utmost level of enthusiasm. Everyone wants more to discover their song.